Terry, you had a story about how the second quarterback is not always a good thing in the draft. Now, now we know Tennessee is not going to take a quarterback. Right. So where does it fit the Browns? Well, if you're the Browns and your time comes, I get a chance to take the very first quarterback in the draft. If you look at the stats, remember this is the analytic age we live in with the, with the Browns. Yes. I went through the last 10 years in the draft. The first quarterback taken, it could have been Cam Newton, it could have been Matt Ryan, any of these guys. Out of the last 10 years, seven of those guys have ended up being starters in the NFL right now. Seven out of 10. Second quarterback picked. For example, in 2014, the first quarterback pick was Blake Bortles. The second quarterback pick was, by your Cleveland Browns, Johnny Somebody. Johnny Somebody. <laughs> but Johnny Somebody fits in with a bunch of other guys. How about this? Only two out of 10 of the second quarterback pick our current starters, and one of them is Marcus Mariota from last year. The other is Joe Flacco. In fact, the Browns have another quarterback who fits in there. Brady Quinn was the second quarterback pick in 2007. My point is this. You got a shot at taking the first quarterback in the draft, and you don't have one, take it. And if you got a chance with the second quarterback in the draft, you may want to trade it. But who's going to be the first quarterback? That's, that's what you have to figure out. There's always some misses. I mean, one of the biggest misses of all in that, that list of 10 was Jamarcus Russell. Okay. But there's a lot of really solid guys. In fact, if you go all the way back to 1999, starting with Tim Couch, there's been 17 quarterbacks picked, one for each of the, the years. Ten of these guys are still playing, and they're still starters in the league.